issues with the field. Um, you know, I'm thankful I didn't slip. And, uh, you know, credit to Mr. Toma and uh, Travis and all the groundskeepers that, that worked so hard on that field. Very tough. I mean, he's a, he's a warrior. He kind of banged his ankle up again going into half. And, you know, there's no question he's going to be in the game shoot running I don't know how long that run was 20 yards or whatever it was so he's a he's a warrior and I think that's something that makes him so great is the fact that he is so competitive and he won't take no for an answer and he's going to find a way to win you know I was expecting to have to go kick a field goal when we got closer down to the end zone you know, the thought went through my mind of, okay, we're just going to go score a touchdown. But as soon as I think MVS took a knee and then Patrick took a knee, all right, that's pretty clear that we're going out and kicking a field goal, a shorter field goal. And so I got a couple more reps in the net, and then we went out there and executed, and everybody did a great job. Yeah, I think that, you know, that run got us into field goal range, and yeah, I had to be ready to go. And again, the offensive line did a great job blocking and just so thankful. Great snap, great hold by James Winchester and Tommy Townsend. And, you know, glad it went through. What you got to say to your guys from Georgia Tech and uh, back in Atlanta that, uh, you know, seeing you win uh, another Super Bowl here? Go Jackets. And, uh, you know, thank you for all the support. Yeah, I just pulled it. It wasn't great contact, kind of a wobbly ball. and. Yeah, unfortunately, it didn't go through, but I felt like as the game went on, I was hitting a, a better ball, a uh, better rotation, and yeah, glad that last kick went through. What is, what, is it, what, is it like, what is it like as when your opponent that that Right. Well, like you said, you got to focus on the next kick, and that's what I was doing. You know, you do look at the scoreboard and think, wow, if I did make that field goal, you know, we'd have three more points. But is that going to help you make the next kick? Probably not. So you got to get that out of your mind and just focus on the process and, and the next opportunity that, opportunity that you get. Harrison, when did you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this was my third Super Bowl now, but I kind of learned that from the first one. You got to relax, get off your feet. The game is so much long. I don't know. Normally, the game's three hours. I don't know how long this game was, but the halftime, the warm ups, like another 25 minutes, and then there's extra timeouts throughout the game. So it definitely feels different from all the other games you play during the regular season of the playoffs. But, you know, I thought we handled it really well and we won the game. Harrison. Well, when we went up by eight, you know, that was a point where, you know, we just got to stop them. And uh, Jalen Hurts and the offense did a great job scoring and then getting the two-point conversion. And then when it was tied, obviously I'm thinking, okay, this is going to come down to a field goal most likely. And sure enough, it did. And, you know, we were ready and we made the kick. Hey, congratulations, huh? Uh, when did you know the game winner was good? Right off when it left your foot? Yeah, I mean, when it's a close kick yeah, like that, if it feels good off your foot, it's probably going to go through, especially when there's no wind. Yeah, you talked last week in Kansas City about how you know, this year was kind of frustrating with the injury and all that. Any doubt now that it was uh, worth it with the game-winning kick, uh, not only in the Super Bowl, but in the AFC Championship? Game? Yeah, this was uh, an amazing season. I'm very thankful for all the adversity that I went through. I learned a lot about myself um, as, a, as a player and Again, the coaches, the my teammates always supported me and pushed me, and I just try to take it one day at a time, stay positive, and focus on what can I control to make the next kick. Because obviously, I did have some bumps through there, but um, you know, I wouldn't have been able to get through the season if it wasn't for my faith in God and to be able to trust in Him and know that He's got a plan. And uh, you know, I'm just thankful that you know His plan was for that ball to go through and for us to win the game. What did you learn about your yourself? What did you learn about yourself this year? Um, you know, just if you don't feel confident going out there because you got an injury or the technique's not great, you still got to go out there and, and do your best. You, best. you got to have that faith, even though, you know, you know, I'm not kicking the ball as well as I have in the past. But, you know, I'm the guy I need to go out there and give it all, give it my all no matter how I feel. So it is a difficult thing when you know you're, you're not kicking great, but you got to just trust it and go out there and, and do your best. And if you make it, you make it. If you miss it, you miss it. And you just got to keep rolling, whether that, you know, you're getting negative voices saying stuff, well, you got positive stuff you still you can't listen to really any of that 
try to I try to keep this kind of cocoon around just me and the facilities where I'm listening to those closest to me, my teammates, coaches. Uh, but yeah, you just gotta push through that ad adversity. What were you hearing after you missed that first kick? What were you hearing, and how how did you handle it after missing the first? Kick? Oh, I mean, I didn't hear anything. I was more referring to kind of you know social media and all that stuff. So, but bad media is still good media. So thank you. Wait, you handled, how did you handle that after missing the first one? I saw you go to the sideline, just regroup or what? Yeah, you gotta go to the next kick and just focus on what you can control. Obviously, I would have loved for that kick to go through, but it didn't. But you can't keep, you know, thinking about it. You got to go to the next play and, and move on. So what's it like watching? Were, were a kid. <laughs> Surprisingly, not a lot because I didn't grow up uh, a kicker. But you know, it's hard not to notice a kicker like Adam Vinatieri. Even if you're not a football fan, you still see him kicking in Super Bowls and doing a great job. So. I you know, was an Adam Vinatieri fan. I saw him make some big kicks. And as a kicker, that's kind of how you get noticed, those big kicks, those big moments. And it's, it's just very surreal to be sitting here right now having won a second Super Bowl in six seasons and for it to have come down to a field goal. Does it feel, does it feel like a dynasty here? Does it feel like a I mean, dynasty to you? It does. I mean, three Super Bowl appearances in four years and two Super Bowl rings. And, you know, Coach Reed is so process oriented that, you know, we'll be at phase one, phase two OTAs and locked in ready for another Super Bowl. But we'll enjoy this now and then just repeat that process. How does this one compare to the last one? How does it compare to the last one? Well, I mean, the last one that we won, uh, very similar, very, very similar. <laughs> I mean, this one had more adversity for me. You know, I missed a kick and then was able to make the kick at the end. And then the season had a lot of adversity. But, you know, coming down from or coming back from a 10-point deficit was was huge. I mean, that's 10 points in the Super Bowl and the Eagles are rolling. So, you know, very thankful that we were able to come out with the win. What was it like? What? Yeah, I mean, guys were definitely slipping. I didn't have any issues slipping. But, um, yeah, it was a little slippery out there. I mean, y'all could see that. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks, Appreciate sir. it. Appreciate it.